All right, so it's uh, 8.05. I'd like to call this meeting of the Capital Program Committee to order December 13th. Uh, President Richard Hussey, Peter Kaiser, Nat Lowell, myself, Peter McEckern, Christy Kickham, and Jason Bridges. Um, uh, consensus adoption of the agenda. Anyone? Okay, I got a, a mo that motion carries. Uh, can I get a motion to uh, uh, hold the minutes of the 29th, the 6th, and the 7th for review, please? So moved. Okay. Second. Okay, great. And that carries unanimously. No, no one, no nays. Um, there's no public in attendance, no public comment. Uh, we're going to start with a uh, review of the outstanding items and issues and then go into uh, our uh, fiscal 19 year summary worksheet and rankings. Bear with me, there's a lot of paperwork. Um, so you, we are, we are going to be on the, the summary or the rank of just what Julia sent us, right? Uh, we're going to be on the summary okay. worksheet, and then we can refer to the rankings. Yes. Oh, okay. All right, so um, outstanding items. We've gotten some of the outstanding matters addressed. Thank you to the finance department and Libby. Um, we are still looking for the town update on the town recommendations to populate the funding sources. We'll have that for next meeting. Yes. And uh, we are looking for department head prioritization of requests, um, specifically with respect to departments. Uh, we're waiting on sewer perimeter fencing. A breakdown of security access control areas in the perimeter, uh, which I previously had as general liability, but it's perimeter. Just <clears throat> kind of highlight. Um, as of the last meeting, and Julie, I'll send you an update on this just so you have it. As of the last meeting, we identified building and foundation, building and foundation and utilities under the sewer. We're looking for a little bit of backup information on that. Um, there's no one necessarily opposed. We're just looking for information for backup. Uh, we're waiting. We did put out a request on the water tank maintenance. We had a pretty uh, good discussion on that at the last meeting. And uh, we did receive feedback uh, to an initial set of questions I sent. And the follow-up questions, I understand we received uh, comments back from Mark Willett, and I'll be getting them tomorrow or them actually after, the meeting. after the meeting. And then I'll just put them together, and uh, I think... I might just circulate them or, or we'll review them tomorrow if that's okay with you guys. Um, if while I'm talking anything comes up you have a question on, please just chime in. Don't, you know, just, just ask. Uh, I'm reading my notes here, not looking around the table. Uh, we mentioned the uh, town recommendations. We'd like to get that, please, as stated before, to include the enterprise funds and all sources of funding, which include the uh, CPC, FAA, and state contributions and any grants. Um, on the airport, again, under specific departments, uh, we're looking at uh, feedback on the uh, ground service equipment storage facility. And we had discussed the uh, idea of trying to bring this in line with the police marine building, which is approximately $155 per square foot for a comparable structure. Um, I understand the fire department, uh, their building that is for this type of service is closer to between 95 and 120 square feet, but that is based on an economy of, of uh, efficiency because they're doing construction on the building itself next door, which is the primary structure. So just if we hear that number around, you know why there's a difference. Uh, we are waiting for drawings of plan of work and storage areas and uh, uh, within the buildings and the vehicle storage for the garage facility. Um, that's a big one. And I'd want to get that so we can continue discussion on that item. We won't discuss the garage facility this morning until we have those. We're also waiting uh, for some information on the tracked aerial lift and to determine if this is to replace the retired bucket truck or uh, in full or if the bucket or if a bucket truck's required within the within the 10 year outlook plan and also how this relates to uh, current services and might affect personnel costs, for instance, is, is this to uh, continue tree servicing or, or not? And if, uh, if not, to some percent, what percent or average per year? Uh, lastly, 
on that, we're looking at, uh, bear with me a second. Oh, Brian, I haven't asked this, but I'll ask, uh, just for setting up the draft recommendation, I'm hoping to do more than just a simple recommendation. I may just pattern after what we did last year based on where we are and the kind of time constraints we have. Not that there was anything wrong with that, but we have a little bit more information this year. I'd like to incorporate it. We'll see how it goes. We're a volunteer board doing the best we can. Um, but uh, I would like to get a copy of the planet. All these are in plan. I don't need the, all of the detail, but if I can get the summary with a 17-year column through 27. If you can't do 17, do 18. And um, I may be asking, I think, uh, very likely for the SIP, uh, each of the requests, if the text is available in a text format versus on the PDF printout, so that when we're formatting this into a recommendation and if we're going to use that text, it's available with the planet number. Uh, we can talk about that a little bit more. I'll, I'll, I'll call you or stop in. Um, okay, so then the next item on uh, this is to tuck in a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, at the last meeting, I, I, as I said, I don't want to be talking about these numbers casually. Uh, I had mentioned a $2 million shortfall based on information we had provided, uh, had been provided, which is apparently a little bit stale. It's changed, as we knew it would, the preliminary um, recommendation from from town management uh, covers the entirety of the requests, as I understand it, in the general fund. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And uh, also, we don't have an update on the enterprise. Is that the case for enterprise, or do you believe, without getting into exact numbers, because we're going to get them in our in our summary sheet, is there are there requests that are not funded that were requested for this year? Not to my knowledge. No. Okay. Thank you. Uh, also, I provided uh, some information on FY19 versus FY18. And Brian, if there's a difference here, I don't expect you to say it at this point, but uh, I went through and did a, a review of what was brought before us last year and uh, carried forward in the recommendation, either as a positive or a negative. There were uh, about 45, 48 requests of some $22 million. This year we have some 90 requests of some $85 million. Uh, so I just want to be clear in what the source of that was and what the numbers were. I got a call on that. And then uh, and lastly, I think just to um, review our schedule, kind of as an outstanding matter because they relate. Uh, we are currently, today's meeting will be, we are going to do, we'll do a call list as we, as we did at the last meeting, <coughs> so we'll kind of go through and see what everybody wants to talk about, and we can talk about those, and the others will go in the kitty. Uh, we're going to hit Ireland home. Uh, I had hoped to, I uh, requested the school, but that's not prepped, so we're going to hold on the school. We'll do airport. DPW general and we're going to hold on transportation I'm not prepared to review that I didn't have it on the agenda and we're going to get a um, unfolded version of the spreadsheet to show phase funding for tomorrow um, we're in I, I, I'm in support of the projects I just want to demonstrate how we're using phase funding Mr. Chair, can I ask yes please just real quick um, did we get any feedback on water company questions from last week or no? Yeah, I went through that kind of quick, but uh, we're waiting for a little bit more I'm going to get from Brian this afternoon or after the meeting, and then I'll be able to get that circulated to you all. Okay. So we can have a discussion. So that'll be later. Yeah. Like so the transportation, right? Yeah, Another exactly. Thing. Okay. Yep, Just you got it. it. No, you got it, Nat. So and I'll, I'll mention that in a second. So uh, today and tomorrow we're going we're gonna to finish our preliminary review of all of the requests with exception for anything that has outstanding items and that's today and tomorrow before Friday having completed that uh, I would like to have everyone get any f the r just about rankings if you have any uh, you know if you've gone through and there's anything on re on um, 
so on requests that kind of stands out to you yeah. that you feel you want to change or you have a question about let's get that <coughs> resolved if it's uh, tomorrow at the meeting if you want to bring it up that's fine we'll have time but if not I'd like to get those kind of flyers or if anyone hasn't completed theirs get those into Julia and Julia did you want to do that now or later <coughs> okay yeah that's no that's great and um, and if you don't fill it out today we need it by Friday and if you have a question reach out to you know reach out to another member of the group or reach out to me you you know we can have a one-on-one -on -one discussion we can't be deliberating as a sub quorum let's try to do it now if we can. yeah I'd like to do it now let's get it out of the way um like what, what's missing so are we saying I don't know yeah. whatever's missing we should try yeah to do it I want to get this stuff wrapped yeah. up you know it it's not much Julia you're yeah. my transport I thought I was caught up I've got some. Yeah, I've got some. Yeah, I Julia, I didn't. We've got to take it easy on Julia. She's blowing up. I know she is. She's doing a lot. Transportation stuff? Um, okay, because I didn't do any of the subgroups until we had some. Okay. Okay, so transportation, I owe some. Okay. Uh, are my negative numbers in there, too? Any of the ones I put in negatives? No, you're one of Okay. <laughs> I'd also like to, you know, some of the admin um, rankings. Would be here this meeting. Nope. I'd like to be able to, you know, review. Like, yeah, like the National Grid one, for example, stands out to me. I thought that was for sewer. Arena. Whatever that was, that relation to that project. Okay, so what I'm going to ask That's though. All. So if we go through it, it would be good to. Okay, so what I'm going to ask Nat is if it's one of the ones, just so we can stay disciplined and get through this, okay. is that if it's one of the DPW general. RLN home or airport that we have a question for town admin on we do it today okay. at the on the 18th and the 19th we're going to do a recap review so we'll be able to go through the whole list again if there's any questions on any ones we, we previously reviewed we have the time built into the schedule to address it then so if it's for instance sewer and you have a question for Libby let's address it then because today we're not doing anything with sewer or okay. But if it's solid waste, it's on the list for today. Ask the question while it's all relevant and topical. And I'm just going to say, if you could do that extra stuff there that you're not doing today on Tuesday. Yeah, I wanted to ask I'm you, you said you're not here one day. Monday? Yeah, I can't okay. make it Monday. Not enough. There's a lot, okay. to, there's a lot to get through here. Um, okay, so just to get back to schedule here. So... We're going to recap and review, then uh, do a general recap and review with any of the outstanding items. We'll have all the outstanding materials. Uh, Monday is going to be an 8 o'clock meeting. We really need to get any outstanding meeting information by Thursday. Is that? Brian? Yes. Yeah, just a yes or? Okay. The outstanding information. Maybe before we leave here, I got to leave about 940. No. We could do one more recap of exactly what it is. They have a written list. Yes. They do? Yeah. Okay. It's all prioritized. Okay, fine. Because DPW, um, director has been had to be away for a family matter, and okay. I'm not even sure he's back yet. Okay. So I just, you know, it's going to depend on the department head. You know, if we, if we have information, we have to hold a recommendation of a particular request. I, it's not the end of the world. I mean, we have time before we have to give you our up-down on stuff. But I think we need a complete packet to finalize a recommendation. Is, and in particular, that's a big number. That went from $10 million ask last year to $15 million ask this year. It's, it's a big number. We need to get some more meat on that bone. Um, but yes, completely understand life happens. That's what this is all about. That's why we're having more meetings than we had last year. That's why it's taking a little bit longer. Um, all right, so just to move on so we can move on, uh, finalize and, eval and evaluate and provide up and downs to uh, town admin is due January 4th. And um, a draft recommendation uh, reviewed and approved amongst ourselves is due January 10th. Uh, these last two dates we're looking to move up. Um, and Libby, I have a question on the final date, which is to provide an FY19 recommendation to the 
the Board of Selectmen and FinCom on the 18th. Libby, did you mention that there's some kind of a... Um, yeah, the 18th isn't going to work because several of us are going to be away. We're heading to a conference that day. Okay, so let's look at dates on that at the next meeting. On the 19th? You want to do it the 19th? Oh, what, what do you mean the next meeting? You, I was just going to say let's review, let's maybe set dates for that at the next meeting. So everyone, at your next meeting? Yeah, we have a chance to look at a calendar. And, sure. Unless you want to propose the 19th right now of January. Oh, no, 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 no. I th oh, okay. I, sorry, so we'll, I, th I thought you meant uh, <laughs> your next Capcom meeting yes. after this one, we're going to look at dates. But yes. I'm not going to be here on the 18th, so I was just saying, you mean the 19th? Yes. No, no, I'm, no, no, I'm talking about December. Concur, you got it right. Okay. Thank you. All right, um, and then the other thing was we were going to do a directional meeting. I know I, there was some scheduling issues with Outlook calendar items and things. Um, I don't know if it's a meeting. Have you heard back? Or is the chair of the Board of Selectmen or the FinCom interested in this or something they're not interested no, in? No, I think, I think they are, and I have a meeting this afternoon with the chair of the Board of Selectmen, so I will talk to her about the, how and when we're going to reschedule that. Okay. I mean, you get what it's... We, it's a touch base meeting. Yeah, it's also to begin to... I mean, I don't want to underplay it either. I mean, it's the beginning of... I don't know that there's really been... Look... Have any of you guys ever been in a train station, like a real brain center of a train station? Yes. You know how, how that works, you know? A lot it's, of red lights and dark. There's a lot of lights, a lot of things blinking, a lot of things <laughs> moving, <laughs> but, you know, 99% of the time, everything well, gets where it's going. <laughs> the outcomes are met. It's very complicated, but they do it. But it's pre-planned, and um, I'm just trying to get to a point where we're having a dialogue about building a train station, for capital items. I'm not suggesting any any fault on anyone. This is a growing pains thing, but I mean the way some of these are going is each of these requests is a train. We're building the tracks and putting the siding on the side of it as it's going down the track. And I would like just to begin the dialogue so that in future years, maybe not even next year, but between the you know the three chairs and Libby, so that we're beginning to take some of the load off. The database and the SIP request form isn't going to do it all so that we're, you all aren't in this pinch at this critical time of the year. And that's, I think, what opening up this chain of, of communication between the chairs and you as a group may, <coughs> is what I'm hoping to accomplish. Yeah. So it's not just an FY19 recap, and it's not just a do you want us to town meeting, and if so, do you want us to say something? It's kind of a let's get started having dialogue as a group. And if, yep. If you don't support that, no, no, I know I get it. Then I'm I do. cool with that, but I just don't want to. No, I get it, and I support it. I okay. just it's going to have to probably happen in January. Okay, so we'll we can talk about that. Yeah. Thank you. Um, all right, so we're going to move on to the um, actual worksheet, and again, we're going to do. Bear with me. Facilities, DPW fleet management, not transportation. So you can just put a line through transportation. We already done the, the upper half. Uh, down to stormwater, traffic management, parks, solid waste, RLI home, and airport. Okay, just so everybody has kind of a lay of the land. Mm -hmm. Are there any of the DPW facility? Oh, let me just go, kind of go through here real quickly. Um, we're not going to be discussed because I'm going to do the practice. Facilities, we're not going to be reviewing today the garage facility. Today, we are not going to be reviewing fleet management Track area lift, the second entry. Today we are not going to be reviewing the 
garage, the air, all the way down at airport, the garage facility. There's no sense having a discussion about if we have, we know we need supplemental information. So that's going to be kind of just the exercise of the chair's prerogative. And um, I think that's it on what we're not going to do. So from top to bottom, I'm just going to quickly go through this. If you'd like to discuss it uh, for any reason, however incidental, bring it up and we'll go through. Facilities, the annual facility roof repairs. Just call it out. Uh, annual facility ADA accessibility upgrades, the annual utility updates, annual site paving updates, annual public bathroom updates, annual facility equipment replacements, annual facility lighting updates. All right, I'm going to make a general comment on those. On the total, okay. The so, thought process. Okay, and Peter has a question. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna just call those as a group as opposed to individual. Mm -hmm. uh, Jetty's Beach facility. You good with that for now, Ian? We yeah. covered that this is just the nuts and bolts stuff, not the design and aesthetics. <coughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Surfside Beach. Children's Beach facility. All right, the loader. Uh, yeah, I'd like to follow that one. Yeah, so, me, me too. Okay, so under equipment, we're going to do the loader, the vibratory <laughs> roller, the skid steer. Yeah. I'm gonna Might as well pull that one out. Yeah. The uh, one ton stake body truck with plow, dump truck with plow. And uh, facility manager vehicle with plow. Okay, I, uh, I think I'm just going to make a general on that as a group. All right, so we're flipping the page. Uh, we're on stormwater halfway down the uh, back truck. CCTV phase two. Uh, the phase one design and construction. Okay. Parks master plan. I want a question on that. Solid waste materials recover. Uh, the uh, we're lo looking at the MRF, the, um, the materials recovery facility. The cardboard baller is one item, and the uh, sorting station. Okay. RL in home supplemental funding. Yeah. Curious because I thought that was automatic and it's three percent of the down the grade. So uh, actually, uh, let's pull that. I don't have that yeah, in my own notes, so we we'll, can discuss it. Get any information. Needed. Airport uh, lights improvement, uh, door replacement, the taxiway e milling and overlay. I'm going to pull that. We're not going to be discussing the garage construction at this point. Hopefully, the next meeting we get out of the information. Temporary hold room expansion uh, with the structured awning. Uh, paint beads, rubber markings, removal, maintenance and equipment, and the security and custodial vehicle. Uh, which I'm going to pull back. Okay, so uh, we're going to do what we did last meeting and just kind of go through and look at these, discuss any element you want to discuss, including the um, rankings. Um, Libby, you're here, so we are going to look to you. We weren't able to do this at the last meeting for uh, your input on, uh, like, as town admin, imminent threat or a legal requirement. And I'm going to actually be looking, just to be clear, uh, take a quick... Uh, tangent here. In the uh, report that you send, Julia, which is the update, if there are any of these that you all are are either an imminent threat or a legal requirement, like a bona fide your decision is that's the case, please indicate it because we'll review it in our final review but and kind of add our own little bit to it, maybe or maybe not, but I'd like to have your input there. I think it's important for us to have that kind of direction. 
And then uh, also if you guys want to discuss any of the, the ideas of risks or the cost, uh, whether it's accurate operations and management capacity to take it on and, and actually when they'll be doing it. Uh, funding sources we can discuss, but I think since we haven't been able to do it with the initial ones, that will hold off on funding so and they're not populated here, we'll hold off and do that in our recap if that's okay with you guys. I'll take that as a yes. Yes. All right, uh, Peter, you want to start? You had a question on the DPW, some of the uh, the, the total dollar number for facilities, the annuals. Actually, a question for either Libby or Brian. Um, I agree with the amounts in all of the annual facilities, repairs, and maintenance. How is that going to play with the operating budget that FinCom will get? Will we see decreases in those line items, or will it be status quo? Um, or it's just not status quo, but it be the same amount that we've been spending operationally on repairs? Right now, and the budget is going to the board for their review tonight, we have obviously, you know, have to work within a balanced budget parameter. But right now, I think we are recommending three um, employees. Three new employees, um, new positions, which probably, possibly regardless of the equipment they need anyway. And around, depending on how things get funded, between two and five hundred thousand dollars worth of additional um, expenses, and those would be allocated among different line items, including supplies, repairs, maintenance, across the okay. board. Great, thank you. Thank you, uh, Louis. I got a question on that too. Is um, well, first, just to recap, that is the you know these are new new kind of line item categories and uh, what our director at uh, BBW is doing is funding these to get started and then he'll backfill us with detail on what was accomplished. He'll also use that real, very real and current information on costs for uh, extrapolating and, and kind of uh, uh, setting up future requests on an annual basis. Libby, I know this is a little bit outside of the facility, but it's kind of not. Uh, we do a lot in terms of, um, it's a direct cost for capital with respect to owner's project manager. I know this is kind of out of left field. I didn't anticipate even bringing it up. I just thought of it. Uh, it's been on my mind, but I just thought of it looking at this. Could there be, I'm just throwing this out there, you don't even need to respond, but if there could be some way that if facilities is going to be grown as a department and mature, that the longer term plan would be that there would actually be someone who's on the town staff, which would save us hundreds of thousands of dollars a year to be an owner's project manager, or is it just simply not something that could happen in the next five to ten years? I would love it if you came to the selectmen's meeting tonight and supported our recommendation for a capital projects manager in the D in the DPW because that is a recommendation recommendation of ours a new position. Richard and I would he just asked me almost the exact same question right before the meeting. Um, so what we were chatting a little bit about is we're going to be recommending this capital projects manager slash facilities director for DPW. They will. Primary, their primary job will be to oversee town capital projects. The bulk of the town capital projects are DPW related. The sort of outliers or one-offs are the, are the larger projects like the fire station, the island home, this building, possibly the marine department that would have their own OPM anyway, regardless of whether we have our own capital projects manager because uh, unless we can work it in. Um, but, uh, you know, a, the DPW garage they would probably handle. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't have a separate, probably wouldn't have a separate OPM for that. I, I don't totally know yet, but sure. the, the point is that we agree. We, it's become so clear to us e last year and even more so this year going through this process that we need someone who's completely dedicated to capital projects. Th this is part of that can do email I sent you? Yeah, I haven't well, gone back to look I at that yet, but I will. But this is... And this is also part of why I thought it would benefit the community if we could kind of get some discussion going, because this is one of the topics 
one of about four or five that are similar in terms of the synergy it would create mm -hmm. uh, to discuss amongst the chairs over time. Yep. And with you involved. Mm -hmm. um, so I just want to put that in there. And then I guess that, Peter, just one second, and then that. Uh, I would suggest, too, if there isn't a requirement, a state requirement for some reason for funding, that as that position is developed and matured, that if there's some kind of an interplay between the enterprise accounts where they can't necessarily use the town personnel as, as their own employee, but they can hire the town or not, I don't know, so that that resource could be, you know, we don't want to max it out when it just gets started, but at the same time, if we can save, it, it, there's a considerable amount, of, as you all know, there's a considerable amount of money, typically 4% of a pro capital project that goes towards owner's project manager if we hire it out to a, an architect. And that's a lot of money that would be saved and as a result not be part of the tax burden and therefore could maybe, there's an offset where, where if operating increase and the end result of the taxpayer's mind you know what I mean? Like, if yeah, yeah. go up a certain amount, they go up a certain amount. How we use the money, if we can use it more efficiently, great. And this is one of those areas where uh, I applaud that you're already looking at it, and I'm happy to come and support it if you think it'll help. Um, we might need more than one position for this. I, but we're, we would start with this, and um, we agree about the cost savings, and I hadn't even totally worked in the thought about the cost savings. I'm more thinking about someone needs to manage these projects. I, I would take... I would suggest to you, just I want to get sidetracked here, but I would suggest to you that you look at that as a first step, mm -hmm. as a position. Capital as a as a as an asset, as a there, if there was a if there was a department that handled capital, that handled all these requests, that processed them, that vetted them, that made sure that the information was correct, that was responsible for the control of. Uh, not just the cost accuracy, but the timeline, the reporting, and so on and so forth. Uh, I think that that position would naturally fall into that department, and that mm -hmm. department, part of it being owner's project manager with capital, would also save the town a considerable amount of money with respect to ca actual capital outlay. So there would be some spend <coughs> operating to save a bunch in capital. So I, I'm not to get into it now, but that's one of the things that I would want to discuss amongst the chairs and see if there's interest as concepts that we could be developing if it's something you're interested in your plan to manage the town because that's like a whole other way to take that without mm -hmm. getting and then you separate having uh, an individual involved with the DPW who's also managing all the capital they're, they're kind of they answer to you that capital group answers to you and through Brian and the selectmen and it's kind of avoids a lot of the interplay of Various things that you get in departmental type things. Okay, no said. Um, yes, sir. And Peter, I'm sorry. Sorry. Peter? Just my opinion, only mine, that I'm not sure if I'd call it an owner's project manual, excuse me, manager, uh, this, this position. And I'd also make it so that it's over every department. If you just tie it to one department, then I think don't even waste your time. That's right. Period. It was total waste of time because I, th I think that there's so many plural projects that we as a town have that we're sitting on that we're all collectively sitting on. Uh, we need that support across all of them, and, yeah. I, and I would support that. I, well, I think that's the idea. Okay, good. And this good. is going to have to evolve a bit. Yeah. Yeah. It starts with the facilities and a brand and that kind of. Well, it starts with a job description. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Period. You got to know who you hire before you hire, and I and I'd gladly sit on that to help. It seems um, Erica um, recently went to a state-sponsored conference about um, or training session. It was actually about state ethics and the open meeting law and stuff like that. But there were apparently a number of capital project managers that was their title from several other towns that Perfect. were at this so that started making us think with, uh, that's exactly what we need so to we, start with so so can do is capital asset and needs director of operations and then you have that all fall into place as much as you have the finance director and, and a financial an analyst to answer to you you'd have the capital asset needs 
a uh, director of operations, you would have the capital project manager, and you'd have a support staff. Together, that would probably be less than $250,000 a year, and we're spending $250,000 a year quarterly, right, for one? So, quarterly, well, I just, no. I just see that. It doesn't matter the numbers. There's a huge potential savings there, I think, is the ultimate. And I understand that it might be something that's bootstrapped off of getting started under facilities because as an administrative matter, you need someone to answer to someone. They can't be answering to you right now. Facilities is the good fit for now. Yep. And then it blossoms and it grows. Yeah, ex exactly. Okay. Thank you. Um, just, yes, please. Say something a little bit. Um, really, I agree with what you said to this question. I just want to ask, this is my big one. This fit person is not the title of this person is going to have like a whole bunch of subtitles, like gobbledygook, hoop jumper, superintendent of street, clerk of the works, watching, managing. Well, how much authority does this person have? That's going to be a big question, I think, for the selectmen in their process to, to, I guess, approve this or whatever we're doing. But here's the one that I think is the biggest. Identifying the opportunity. That person has to be driving down the street, seeing something and saying, wait a minute, we gotta do this. They got this street blocked, and we're, they're digging the street up, say, for a sewer connection for some house, but doing something. And then all of a sudden, we're not doing something that we could do, that we already have on like that list of something, like little visual improvements or little sidewalk fix. Mm -hmm. And that person can, Get it to happen. Okay. Without it being so impossible. Like, that, that's what I'm saying. Okay. No, I, I, I get what you're saying. Uh, no, no. You're, you're not, not at all. But that needs to happen before this project starts that you're talking about. So let's take. Well, um, I mean, I think we're starting to do it a little now. We are. But, but I'm saying if we pull the I'm thinking about how the reaction would be adding employees is always negative for private sector lovers like myself and Peter. But if it can work in a private sector way, yeah. then there's more acceptance to it. Does that make sense with what I'm saying? Like yeah. Erica is, she can't, like she's got, she's a reactionary, she, with, with these emails she has to set up, with truck routes and all this stuff is insane. Like, there has to be somebody that's in that sort of title, or new title, that's sort of what, that is. Yeah. Well, well, what we're shooting for is this identification of opportunity concept that you're talking about in advance of any project actually starting. So I think we learned a lot from Prospect Street, for That's example, and DPW Water and Sewer are all meeting on a regular basis together, and they have re prioritize different projects so that they can happen at the same time yeah. so that we can address you know and they do a little brainstorming I think to address not just their items but items that aren't even ours like polls and other maybe things that are in the right away problem yeah. so, so I think we are moving that way but this person could also help coordinate that and be thinking more about how projects are going to be done together correctly the first time rather than having to go in and do more Digging. later. Yeah. Like what we just did, for example, like Prospect is the biggest example of crazy, how did that happen? And we don't need to talk about that here. I'm not trying to thank you for bringing it up though. But what we just did at, for example, what we just did at um, across from uh, Club Cabot up a little, there was a huge water sewer little movie do that happened at property there at right before the sidewalk so it was oh uh, yes I know what you're talking about some old yep 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 and it happened at the same I don't want to say at the same time right after it now that was like scary no it happened right before the sidewalk went in that's what I mean yeah no 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 that's what I meant I meant to say that happened and then all of a sudden poof were they fixing the piece of that yeah. sidewalk that is getting fixed from yeah. a year ago plan a year and a half one yeah. two years that, we need more of that. That is huge. I don't care if it's 20 feet of something gets fixed and the rest of it doesn't yet. That's still good mm -hmm. because it's the right way to do things. So 
so you're already there ripping something up. It's going to get ripped up again. Mm -hmm. So now I think so that person has to be a yeah from yeah, the, the, the real world sector, not the sort yeah. of desk jockey sector. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know what I mean? I am completely gay. I, I think, think that makes sense. I think that what higher. the idea here is that stuff that the productivity and the efficiencies of having someone in place are going to make the things Matt's talking about fall into place much more easily over time. Um, and for everyone, because you can free up people from, everyone isn't, you know, one armed paper hanger, excuse me for using the term loosely. There's people with, there's someone who's doing the, the project management, it's very specific, but they're being able to pick up other duties that are taking the pressure off <coughs> other staff so that the staff can fill in and take care of what you're talking about now. Yeah. So, is that generally kind of a yes, thing you're looking at? And uh, Libby? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Thank you. So uh, this is really great information, but this is the type of stuff that is good for like a brainstorming session and we need to get moving on our agenda. Um, back to uh, the worksheet list. The... I think you're on loader. Right, so we got to go I wanted to, we're on the loader, right? I, I, well, I wanted to jump up. There were two items that town ranking had, uh, town admin had ranked relatively well. And I'm just curious, the ADA accessibility and the um, uh, lighting updates, and I, and I know you're not against saving money on electricity and you're not against people with disabilities. I'm just curious if you know something that we don't, was there a reason that you thought that um. that money might fit in somewhere else or was it just a... Do, okay, Julian Brian can. Well, Julian Brian can jump in and remind me how what our discussion was about this. But the ADA accessibility upgrades, I think we thought were really going to be happening by themselves. By themselves. Not, yeah, and just on a sort of project by project basis. And probably same with the lighting. And, and same with the lighting, and we felt the lighting was. Um, important but like I don't know in the in the town building for example are we really going to go through and replace all the lighting and then well the town building is probably not a good example because we have no idea when we ever might have a new municipal building but yeah, how big of a problem is it really right. I guess we were thinking there's other things that are in the grand scheme of things there were other things that were more important unless perhaps someone like Mass because Mass State does come over yeah, and we've already done all that. Okay, so okay, thank you. I don't, I didn't want to sidetrack us, but I was curious. It was, it was kind of a big difference. So I want to ask those as we're going along. So sure. We, if there's insight, we get it. Uh, real quick, just a note. Yes, please, Peter. I mean, they are relatively low on our rankings, also. So I mean, they're not as low as Town Ammons, but relative to where yeah. we ranked a lot of other things. Yeah. So I yep. mean, I think our methodology might have been similar, just not to the yeah. same magnitude. Yeah, they're 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 lower on ours <coughs> than the others. No, for sure. Uh, loader. So we're going to jump right down to fleet management loader. Uh, now, I, the only reason I'm wondering is they only have one, and that seemed to be the hot thing in the interview you know, or in the presentation. I thought it was a number one of all the, of the bigger equipment. Not talk about vehicles. That's all. So what is the secret for town admin? Yes. You're asking. Gotcha. Um, I think again we felt that there were based on Rob's description of what things are used for. Um, and we have contracts with several Company. companies okay. to, for this that, I mean, certainly is handy to have two, yeah. but is it absolutely yeah. essential considering Listen, I that? I love it. Knock it off. I didn't know that. I mean, I know the island, the island itself is like full load. I mean, we, we hear what Rob's saying. We like the idea of having a backup, and we like the idea that this piece of equipment could do more things, and we're not dependent on a contractor to come do it on their schedule, not ours, because that's what happens. Yep. But in the grand scheme of things, again, is it, is it absolutely, is it mission critical? Mm. Right. And what, do you happen to know what the age of the other? I don't it have doesn't matter. I just thought that. No, it does. Well, well but. I, I think we, the other one is new. Okay, so. And, and in fact, there was another, uh, even another one that had been fixed. I so was looking at it. Which, which is old. Uh, no, I was can looking I finish? Okay, go ahead, Thanks. Sorry. So I just want to finish the thought. Is, it's actually what you just mentioned, is 
if if we have a new when I asked the ages if we have a new one and we're looking for one to kind of have around and have handy I understand you know buying used equipment isn't a, isn't a great thing but we might be able to make a deal with someone on the island who we know is maintaining their equipment and get a used one that's the one that sits in the yard and it's for, you know, picking stuff up and moving stuff around that the skid steer can't do. So it saves, you know, $150,000 if you can get one used. So I just throw that out there based on, on the, the, the age of the one that is in stock. Steven? Yes, Chris. Uh, on that one, I just was, um, uh, uh, I was curious to know if his 10-year uh, life cycle is based on either uh, there being a garage or not. Um, I also wanted to find out what his, uh, if he has a uh, maintenance plan, how he, how, he, how he schedules these maintenance, maintenance plans, if they're annual, if someone comes over from the manufacturer and does a service on it, or um, I just want to know that the, the equipment's getting taken care of by someone that knows how to take care of it and not just, uh, not just staff. Um, I think the answer to that is probably that it, now that we have a central fleet manager who just recently was hired, he came to a meeting last week, he's going to be the one to develop the maintenance plan on that and to send the equipment off island as needed or bring the specialized people over here mm -hmm. to maintain it and do the Falls annual repair work. But, yeah, but and I could get more on that. And yeah. then just having been a designee out there, uh, what they have been doing was Anything they can do in house, they do in the mechanic shop, and then you know basic hydraulics and things along those lines. But if it was a a cat engine repair or something that was specialist related, they would, right. they would bring someone in. Um, being new equipment, I I I had asked uh, I think Chuck about the ten year life cycles, and they were using uh, like an industry standard of what the optimal optimal point. And Chuck's really into this, and I appreciate it because it's at a more refined, much more mature later on type process, it's useful information, but the 10 year life cycle is where you begin to sit, start to see degradation increases in operating uh, maintenance costs, where uh, depending on how what the return is on the equipment, factoring in downtime, factoring in costs, that you begin, that's your 10 year useful life cycle. Uh, it wasn't so much about weather related. Sure. Uh, but I don't know if that's helpful. But. Yeah, no, that's, that's fine. I, I just want to make sure that uh, we're not saying that this is how long our equipment's going to last before we even get it. Sure. You know, so. Okay. Uh, the next up was the skid steer. Same thing? Same I, thing? I, think, I think, you know, based on what Libby just said, I bet you they have more use for the skid steer, having more of them than a loader. Sidewalk, plowing, there's lots of stuff. The attachment issue, like they were doing some stuff yesterday. The brush cutting, mm -hmm. which I'd like to talk about a different, in a different time, about some of that stuff that we do as far as pieces flying out and cars driving by. But anyway... Um, you should sign for the thin comment. Yeah. Oh, sure. And you eat bad means to this group. Um, so, I just... I don't know. This down in Min still says nine percent. So I mean, you know, I'm fine with not buying something. I can tell you that. I just thought that this was again one of those things that we were kind of doing more of the bike path plowing, sidewalk stuff, <coughs> pool areas, things that are that we never used to do Libby years ago that we do now is sort of normal. I thought that was what this was kind of for. But yeah. that's me. That's just my thought. Now, are these in? This is where that value, that Tom recommendation thing comes in in discussion. Is are these no, recommended or not oh, recommended? Sorry. I know they have relatively low scores from rankings, but sorry, it's in there. are you recommending or not recommending? <coughs> I think we we are recommending. I'm sorry, I said nine. I didn't bring my. They got this really small. You got flipped over past the area. Right, sorry, it's sixteen. Sorry, sorry. Gotcha. Got it. Yeah. All right, and so this is where I think if we're looking at just. A general comment for you guys you're all aware but if we're looking at a tighter number than town administrators recommending this is where having the list the prioritization list from the department head comes in handy because it is handy. not only do we have our rankings town admins rankings the general discussion but we have their prioritization number in front of us um, if for some reason I'm not suggesting we pick artificial numbers but if for some reason we think 
the outlay should be $2 million less, we have to figure out where it comes from. So that would be helpful to have. Um, okay, so this, Peter? You probably kicked me off the committee to make the comment I'm going to make. But I, I, I just warn, one, the Board of Selectmen, two, the administration, and us as a committee, if we have a department that was in deplorable condition as of a year and a half ago, and I'm talking about the DBW, and then we hire a person to make some corrections and bring it to the year 2018, and then we potentially micromanage that department and the department head, you could be looking for a new person within a year or two. So I just warn everyone, and Jason, you can take that back to the board, or I'll take it to them. Stop micromanaging and let the professionals do the work that's necessary. And I think that's very, very important. I, I, I well said. And, and for us to sit here now, it's great, but it's best to ask questions of the department head, which we had an opportunity to, to do, about what they're going to be doing with these pieces of equipment. I thought our, our, we had our questions answered, and it's all part of the plan. And if, you, if we sit here and micromanage that, then shame on us. Uh, well said. Uh, I don't necessarily disagree. I want to clarify that my comments about prioritization are not to be, and whether we're cutting $2 million or not recommending $2 million, it's not specific to the DPW. It's just as a broad comment. Uh, I. I'm not suggesting that we cut anything from the DPW equipment list, uh, but I do want to, I do believe it's our responsibility if we find at a later date, hey, look, last year there was a relatively last minute some changes to how things were going to be funded and what was recommended. Uh, I, I do not want to be in a position where we're not well prepared to make a decision in an informed manner at the last minute, and that's where that prioritization comes in. And I use the example of the $2 million just as a general. So, um, and again, Peter, uh, well said and, and well taken. Um, all right, so we're going to flip over to um, stormwater. And uh, nothing there. So down to parks master plan. Um, Libby, I, I had asked, I had told this one, I had asked Rob, and I was a little uncertain <laughs> in my own notes of the answer. This is for all of, this is a, this is basically to set up a plan for a plan for all the town park, all the lands that are considered town park. Yes. Is that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Possibly excluding Tom Nevers because that's a separate thing that will be on the warrant this year. Okay, and that's why I was curious too is because I, that had obviously come off in yeah. this discussion, and it didn't seem to necessarily fit into this. Yeah, the, it came up right around the same time, I guess, when we were developing capital projects as this Tom Nevers thing was coming up. But the idea under the item that's here before you, Parks Master Plan, is to develop a plan for all of the town-owned and operated parks, specifically maintenance, um, specifically maintenance, I guess and possibly expanding, um, adding new equipment or something like that. Like like maybe we put a playground somewhere where there isn't one right now. Right, and, or, this, and this money goes, is, is towards not only, it is to identify all the things that should be in a comprehensive plan for managing the parks. So yeah. they may identify other things that need to be done yeah, whether and they get funded or not is a different discussion. But that's yeah, and and as an aside, we ranked it a little on the low side because at some point the planning office is responsible for do, for putting forward an open space and recreation plan, which would include parks, and we have one from something like 2000. It sort of went through 2011 or so, and there was an effort to update it within the last two or three years, but s somehow it fell to the wayside and it's starting to come up again now so that might effort might even possibly replace this mm -hmm. I think there was a wasn't there a that was an RFP somebody was working on that firm yeah and the I firm like maybe something. went out of business or didn't I don't know so something happened I, I haven't really dug into it deeply but I have a draft of it so this could be like table maybe it potentially could be yeah. When you say, just to be clear for the 
when you say planning and PDBC, that yes, means sorry, planning and I correct, yeah, yeah, okay, just so I understand. Um, okay, great, thank you. Uh, landfill mining, yeah, I just thought that was well, landfill mining, I think, is um, it, it, it is 19, I think, is the last year of a program of the, the renewed program. Um, we, we renewed a, uh, the landfill mining program with waste options, I think, last year or the year before, and I think 19 is the final year. So in 19, we're going to be new, probably rethinking it and renegotiating it, whatever. But th this is, we did, I guess we sort of didn't really rank it specifically. I, I don't remember where our 3% number came from because it's happening. It's only in here because it's, in the solid waste fund, and it's right. Right. Yeah. It, it's considered a, it has been considered since its beginning a capital item, uh -huh. but it is an ongoing item that's funded out of the general fund. And so, we, so it's I mean, if all intents and purposes, it's space funding. It's predetermined. Correct. And where this is yeah. just more of a technical. Yeah. And so, th when you say this is the this is the last year of the renewed program, am I to take that there are, and that it's also regularly funded? Are there is there an, a renewed pro is there another program coming up this automatically renews and is it or this is it? Well, we'll, we'll probably I, I imagine we'll probably extend the program. I mean, someone's got to do it. Yeah, and it's not done yet. And do we have any idea when? I'm just looking from a capital planning process. Is this a ten-year thing? Is this a three? Is this a five-year thing? What do you? I think do you initially, have any idea? initially it was a five-year thing. We were going to see how far we got, and it was extended. I, I didn't bring that information with me. I'd ha I'll have to if get it for you. Tongue, I don't have it off the tip of my tongue. Yeah, it's fine. Just for you know, we're we're unfortunately we don't have all the time we need to do. It's kind of ironic because we're going to have plenty of time at the end of this meeting, um, but we don't have the. You know, we didn't have the time to be processing out years, but I don't want to lose track of them. And if yeah. something comes up, and I ask you guys if something comes up, don't you know, please ask about out years. Um, so I will add that to the list of um, just questions. Is the uh, landfill mining out here projection In general, Mr. Chairman? Yes, sir. So. Yes, sir. Just to so I understand how to how to think through this, the Tom Nevers master plan and the landfill mining. If we were to rank all this right now, those would be at the bottom of the list because they're not really capital projects. They're like phase funding. The Tom Nevers is a reappropriation, right? This plan that's in here right now, the Parks master plan, isn't specific to Tom okay. Nevers. It's right. it's everything. It's everything. The, but the Tom Nevers plan is coming from. The capital projects that we appropriated last year of hundred thousand dollars for new playground at right. um, Tom Nevers, and we have decided that we're going to reappropriate that to a Tom Nevers master plan. Okay. The landfill mining, I would say, is just sort of lowish, only because it's going to happen in nineteen. So that's no it. Probably should really be a hundred percent. So we cannot recommend it. it. It's still going to happen. Yeah, but I don't think you're not going to recommend right. it. Right. Right. Okay. Okay, we have so, so that's clearly where it would be helpful, too, to have the uh, funding sources. Um, I didn't realize that was a reappropriation. It's not the end of the world one or the other. But again, the town admin's recommendation is to fund the capital request. Correct. So Landfill money. It's not a reappropriation. It's tax dollars. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't. It's, pardon me, what? It's, it's already funded. It's already funded. General fund. it's, it's tax what you're saying. General fund tax dollars paid for the landfill money. Is this just this is no, no, just no, I'm talking about the mass the parks plan. Oh, parks Wasn't plan. that an article that was yes. specific to Tom Never saw it yes. be authorized for a different use at town meeting? Yep. Well, it's gonna be authorized specifically for a master plan for Tom Nevers. Separate not ones. reauthorized for this one. Oh, okay. But so separate. they're separating yeah. the two. Yeah. So two then two plans. So this this what we're talking about here, I understand is separate from the Tom Nevers master plan. So the funding source for this one, the Parks Master Plan, is what? We don't so know yet? They're free cash or other article reappropriations, not the Tom Nevers ar article. Okay. Okay. Got it. I think I got it confused there. Both 100, 100 grand. So yeah, I, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I assumed it was Tom Nevers. No, you. I, that's, that's good. Um, it's the okay. same dart. Yeah. <laughs> 
What's the chance? Yeah. Hundred thousand. Well, I. I'm more. I'm, I'm thinking more. We might be able to give our helpful professional resources some time to actually get this other stuff done. So that would be beneficial. Okay. Well, whatever, it'll make whatever works. Us, make things better. Yeah. Uh, down to the airport uh, taxiway, the email and overlay. Um, I think I brought that up, Brian. We have a kind of like a, uh, a, a tar material sharing agreement, right? Currently with the airport. Yeah, like Asphalt material. Is this is this going to be involved in that? Is it was that beneficial? And if so, is this going to be somehow involved, or can there be an extension made? The the sharing agreement is part of the MOU for the payback, mm -hmm. and it will go on as long as they have a materials pile that we can take from. And is it beneficial to the town? Yes, because. If we, the agreement is, is that the cost is essentially what District 3, what Mass DOT is paying for that very same material. If we had to bid it out, we would probably pay three times that if we purchased it on the open market. So it's extremely beneficial. So we should be doing this every year in perpetuity? As long as, as, long as we can. <laughs> what they're exactly using it for, I'm not the expert on where it's going, but sure. um, we are using it on an annual basis. So. I, I think it is beneficial. And uh, uh, that memorandum, when is that? When's the payback on that? Twenty years. Oh, so this so is going to be a we have a thing. very long time. Okay, I'm just curious. So that's that's good to know. <coughs> um, security and custodial vehicle. I, we didn't get. I looked at the notes. I looked at our discussion. Yeah. I looked at the <coughs> the SIP. And then I looked at the video. And there's still confusion as to whether this is a brand new vehicle or it's a replacement vehicle. It's a you know it's a relatively small, infinitesimal number. It's no you know it's no chump change, the 58 grand. But I just like some. I I've, I brought it's, up because I wanted to find out if anyone had any input on that. I have a question. Yeah, it's my understanding it's a new vehicle. New. Yeah. And um, you're the designee. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. And, and I was going to say a few. Uh, I don't know if. Uh, <coughs> The committee ever got, or if you ever got, um, a priority on Tom's mm -hmm. items? We did it, but we did request. Because I, I, I asked him when I was there if you want okay. me to run by it real quick. Yeah. It's up to you. Um, it, it's kind of funny because, uh, <clears throat> you know, the ones that are um, federal, that are, you know, federally funded, um, they, uh, you know, it's hard to. To weigh them against each other because they're 95% funded. So, um, but he said uh, the first one would be the, the air, uh, airfield lighting. That is the most important. Um, not only is it funded, but it would it is uh, of high need. Um, the second on his list would be uh, temporary hold room awning. They want to get that going because they really need it. Uh, the third would be the garage. <coughs> the uh, Fourth is uh, is tied. There's auto door replacement in uh, the paint, beads, and maintenance. Um, five is the the vehicle, and then six would be the taxiway. <coughs> That's his list. Just to put it in some yeah, sort of his was like he was framework. pretty simple and straightforward with all that, all that, as I recall. Yeah, he gave us a verbal ranking I when he was that. here. Yeah, I just wanted to get an update if um, once, because he had said that there was some FAA funding that might change the result, and that transpired a while ago. And it, just so if there's been any changes, we know. That's all. I don't, I don't know that the AIP numbers or the entitlements come out until later on, I think. So I don't think we would know uh, the funding that we need to right now. Right. But he was going to meet with them, and he thought he had a general idea as to what he would we, get a general idea of how they... We haven't been told that there's a change. Okay, um, okay. As of yet in our discussion, and we talk to them pretty frequently anyway, so... Okay. Um, gar that garage construction, I mean, we have more than a few minutes here. Do you guys want to touch on that while we're here, or do you just want to wait until we hear back from them if they, got a, if they were able to get a better number? Oh, uh, the square footage of that I wanted to get. I believe it was in the 3,000s. 
Christy, do you? Yeah, he, I mean, as far as the garage, from what I, when I met with him, which is weeks ago, um, <coughs> he was unhappy with the estimate they got, was waiting on some they were waiting comparable, on, some yeah, comparables. They were waiting on the bid for the outbuilding yeah. uh, for the fire station, which came in at about half of that, well, half of the air pumps. I think it was like a third. Um, we will probably be able to do it a little cheaper because we're going to direct bid it instead of, um, in, we didn't include it, we will only awarded the base bid for the fire station, so we're going to direct it to a manufacturer for that, so we may very well save additional money on it. Yes. Okay. And yeah. do we have a square footage on it? Um, do you recall? I can't recall. Okay. No. That's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll ask in our... He, he did say that if it was built, it's, um, it's already fully committed with equipment that would be in there. That they already have. Yep. Yeah. But they're pretty well stocked. I mean, they have what they need. They're not on a, they don't have like a five year waiting list for expansion of equipment. No. I mean, I know the DPW has a list and they, so they, they're, they're adding and they want to add more over the years, but the airport is, oh is pretty filled out. Okay. Um, let's see, what do we got next? So it worked out well. Go ahead. No, no, I'm saying, I think the airport's all set. I mean, as far as the way they have it set up and I don't see anything controversial with the way they've set it up. Same do with the school. Do we have, uh, Libby, can we do a run through just on this group um, of imminent threat and legal requirement? Well, just the ones we covered today. Do you, do you maybe just kind of go through and tick off any that are. Or do you just want to do that in the update and when you do all of them? And we'll have them for tomorrow. Do you have any or do I was just thinking if you went through the uh, request we reviewed today and let us know if, if in your review process you've determined that any of them are an imminent threat or a legal requirement. The phase funding is just de facto and a placeholder the same. Um, I think we did that when we were doing it, but we can. Can you just put it in? And we, yeah, then we'll pass doing it right now and have you do it, sure. all of them, for tomorrow. Yeah, I don't think there's a lot. That's what I thought too. That's why I wanted to get not just the department heads input for our group, but your own. Yeah, we can do that. And then if we if we cut out of here now, which is amazing <laughs> and early, but that gives us 45 minutes head start on getting our outstanding matters addressed, and including mostly for you guys getting the form filled in. I, I just I, I want to do this more. Yeah, I no, we we got it. But we, I know you got other stuff to do too. But yeah. it, it actually it gives, yeah it gives us a small head start. Okay. So uh, moving on, agenda item number eight, there's no committee reports. Uh, the date of our next meeting is Thursday, December 14th at 8 a.m. Uh, Monday, I'm running into a little bit of a conflict at 8 a.m. I don't know uh, the 17th. I don't know if anyone else is or um, how everyone feels about maybe making that a little bit later in the day. Is that possible? Can we, can we go over like what you have, you have planning? Yeah. Do we have changes? Yeah. Uh, no, no, know. no more changes. Seems like we got a meeting a day. So what are we going to? We're sticking to our regulars. We yeah. had one meeting, which was tomorrow. Okay. Well, um, Monday we had on the schedule already. Monday and Monday. Tuesday were previously scheduled. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Chairman. Yes, please. If you move the meeting much past eight o'clock and extend it farther down. It's going to create conflict for Julie and I because we have budgets that we have to meet with the town manager and various enterprise funds starting at 10 o'clock on Monday morning. Okay, yeah. so it, it would be very, it, if we went pat, we would actually have to leave a little early to get down to the town manager's office on Monday morning. Gotcha. For budgets because we have to be prepared to present and discuss those with the selectmen in very early January, so we need to get through that. Mm -hmm. So if you move it, to nine o'clock, you basically would have Julie and I for 45 minutes. Just, I, I, we'll do whatever you need, but I just want you to be aware of that. Okay. So let's keep it, <coughs> excuse me, I said the 17th, I meant the 18th. Uh, let's keep it 
at the 18th at 8 a.m. And um, well, I, we need to lean on getting all the outstanding stuff in by Thursday, like to us by Thursday. Tomorrow. 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 Yeah, well, I, Thursday sounds so much more optimistic. <laughs> um, so we have a meeting next Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday? No, 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 not uh, Wednesday. No Wednesday. Just Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Tuesday. All right. No Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not Wednesday. You, you have a meeting Wednesday. Wednesday. Thank you. So and this is what, a christmas -y thing. Well, what we have to do at those meetings, just to recap, is review all everything Monday with the outstanding matters in hand, which might go very quickly, which would be great. We also have to do transportation in the school. Um, and then I will work on getting together some type <coughs> of a uh, preliminary uh, pass on prioritizing things based on discussion we have Monday as to whether we feel we're going to be doing a full funding recommendation. So please, in the meantime, be looking at your dollar numbers, be looking at the requests, and see if there's something you feel strongly shouldn't be recommended for whatever reason so we can discuss it as a group on uh, Monday or Tuesday. Because if we're, that's where we're getting to with our process is, is the point where we're actually going to be formulating the recommendation. Is that helpful for everybody? Good. Um, that's all I have. If anyone has any comments, concerns, good. Right. Can I get a motion to adjourn? If we're okay. I guess so. I'll make that motion. All right. That Thank you. So what do you yes. what do you do? Did you email them? Yeah. No, I handed it to Brian. Yeah. 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 Yeah.